two steps to begin the preparation. The first step is, and this first step has three parts to it. The first step is to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. It becomes really difficult to unfold and evolve in your Christ self when you hold your human self in bondage. You do realize that your Christ self expresses through your humanity. It doesn't just jump outside of your body and show up as something separate and apart from you. It is a part of you as a threefold being. Forgive yourself. I don't care what it is. I don't care how crazy you are or have been. I don't care how much you earned it or deserve it. Forgive yourself. When you find, when you think that you haven't forgiven yourself or when you think you've forgiven yourself enough because you keep doing the same thing over and over again, forgive yourself 70 times 7. You are the only you you have. And if you will not forgive and love yourself, if you can't bring the Christ consciousness within you to forgive and love yourself, who do you think is going to do it? It's okay, you know, it's okay if you, it's okay if you crazy. It's, I mean, it's really all right. Doesn't mean you have to stay that way, right? I mean, we all have a little, well, maybe not you. Maybe not you. No, no. no. That, we had a confession booth, that thing be full. Next, cleanse yourself by forgiving others. See, one of the benefits of forgiving yourself is that it gives you the compassion to forgive others. It doesn't matter what they did. As, as Reverend used to say, they're somewhere at the picture show and your body is in knots because you're angry about what they did. They're enjoying life. Gone, right? Moved on, gone. And you stuck in, in, in 1973. Because he stole your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, boy. You all are crazy. Last thing, cleanse yourself by casting off the burdens of guilt and resentment. Cast off the burdens of guilt and resentment. I'll even add two more to the cast off the shame and the blame. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. it, it it's not doing you any good, especially if you are not consciously choosing to change. Get rid of it. Next step. Establish within yourself the childlike disposition of humility and teachability to truth and grace. See, the transformation in this period of unceasing prayer and prolonged fasting, the transformer is God. Transformer is not, is not the lesson you get up here. The transformer is not the lesson you get during noonday. The transformer is the time you spend with God. It leaves you different than when you came in. Some, there's, some, see, there's something about the activity of God that, that has a way of taking hold. Of, but see, but you have to be open to the Holy Spirit. See, if, it, if it's speaking in the silence and the still small voice and all about you is noise, how are you going to hear what move you should make? See, you don't know if you, if you listen to somebody else. They don't know. They don't see the pattern in your soul. They don't know how you got through. They don't understand why you sing and shout and do what you do because they haven't been what you've been through. They might have their testimony, they might have their story, but you have yours. And it's the God of your soul whose responsibility it is to have you be transformed by the renewing of your mind. But my mind is not in your mind. My mind is in my soul as it's connected to the activity of God. So it's the spirit of God that does the transforming in you. But if you are not teachable, 
how is God going to teach you? If you don't listen, how are you going to hear? The last step, set aside time each day for study and reflection. Set aside time each day for study and reflection. This is important to you. I, I, frankly, I think just by, by your mere presence here, you've announced to the universe that this is important to you. But this is, a, this is a first step. This is an initial step. The next step is to continue this on for the next 40 days and prove me now herewith. See if I will not open up the heavens and pour out to you a blessing that you have not room enough to receive. You see, the tithe is not just purely in the money that you give. When you tithe your time to God in the presence, then that comes with a blessing as well. See, God is good about reciprocating. In <clears throat> excuse me, the book of Mark, Jesus issues a call to his disciples. He says, come. Come. And that's the same call that we're faced with on this afternoon. Take a closer walk with Jesus. If you decide to <laughs> stay in negativity, then you refuse the call. But if you decide to set your time and come apart and say yes to the presence and the possibilities of God, then you say yes to the call. But the choice is yours. And it's a choice that you make moment by moment. Let's take a moment to pray. Take a deep breath. Dear Father, Mother God, we know that when two or more are gathered together in your name, you are right there in the midst of them. It is with this collective consciousness that we are open and receptive to the activity of the Holy Spirit. We give thanks for this opportunity to not cease in prayer and to be prolonged in our fasting. We give thanks for this opportunity to refrain and refuse negativity and accept the goodness of the presence of the Holy Spirit. We give thanks for this appointed time, this appointed season of expectation and preparation. We prepare our minds, we prepare our souls, we prepare our hearts, we prepare our words, we prepare our actions and reactions to be acceptable in your sight. We know that the transforming power lies with the Holy Spirit and we are open and receptive, teachable, shapeable, moldable. Have your way with us, Father, in this period. Have your way with us in this season. And as you move in and through each of these, your beloved, I give thanks, Father, for the fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit as it abides with each of your children as they begin this journey again. It is a journey into your goodness. Is it a journey into your grace? It's a journey into your mercy. It's a, a journey into your abiding presence and power. We are open and receptive to the goodness of your Holy Spirit. We pray this in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. We touch and agree. We know it to be so. And so it is. Amen and amen. God bless you.